How's it going guys? This is Nick, Mater Motors. I'm going to show you how I uh, put some hydraulic steering on this uh, John Deere 317 that I had put a loader on it. You see, uh, winter of 2017. I put a loader on this for my dad because he splits wood. Something to help him uh, just around the wood pile mostly. I'll bring you in closer, show you what this thing's all about. It's all handmade. Besides the cylinders and the, uh, the hoses, of course. We was using the factory steering uh, we had a, one of them electric power steering going down into the, the steering box, but it was blowing them out. This is the steering box. It's, it's about shot. I don't know what else to say about it, but it is definitely handy. I'll show you guys uh, me operating it towards the end of the video. This here is the newest addition. This is a hydraulic orbital steering. Uh, really haven't tried it out a lot. Just kind of got it finished to know for sure, like the longevity of it. But it seems really nice. And on a note, if you are going to do this on a small loader and you're going to be using your Power Beyond, I had to buy this adapter. I actually had to buy two of them. The first one didn't fit right. Uh, just know these orbitals, uh, I can send a link if anybody wants to know where I got it. It was, it was on an off-road site online. I don't believe they have a a blow off pressure pressure blow off like these nor your normal controls have. So I had I added this one. This is a uh, Prince Hydraulics. I think it's a well known brand off of. I bought this one off of eBay, but I think it's a well known brand. Because when you steer it all the way, it, it, dead, it deads the uh, cylinder out. Which really uh, puts too much pressure on the system. This is the new cylinder I just added. Here's the uh, old steering. That's all gone now. I just added that and welded in a three-quarter bolt here. Seems to work uh, pretty good. I don't have any complaints yet, but like I said, we really haven't tested it for six months to a year, so might have to do a follow-up video. See the longevity, see if, see if this bracket I welded into the frame holds up or if it rips part of the frame out and I need to plate the, plate the steel. We usually, uh, we'll find a weak link. It, uh, it always shows its ugly face. Close this. Uh, here's another thing. I, I was running a belt, but now I switched it over to a chain drive down to the pump. I kind of just, I zip tie this wrench to the pump because these bolts, you got to have a bent wrench, which I didn't have one. So I had to heat that when I'm bending. So I'm just going to keep it with the unit. Besides that, I had to add a counterweight on it when I built it, of course, or it wouldn't have lifted anything. But I'll show some video 
uh, me testing it out. Like I said, I built the loader in the winter of 2017. So I think we've replaced one hose on the loader, uh, which I have no complaints with that. These are my, uh, the hydraulic fluid reservoir, both of them. It comes, uh, comes out of the control valve and it goes into the reservoir over there. And then it comes out of the bottom of that reservoir and comes up into the midsection of this reservoir before it comes out into this filter which comes around and feeds the pump just for maximum cooling so we'll see if i need to add additional cooling with this steering this steering does seem to labor the engine more than you would think but so that might heat the fluid up a little more we will see all right i'm gonna i'll set this uh camera up and we'll do a little testing on it This is the first time I tried it out, which it was working great. This trailer has a lot of tongue weight, uh, but it sheared, which this part might already have been weak. It sheared off the, uh, the stem coming up out of the, out of the spindle there. So that's either gonna have to be beefened up or something but it was staring nice little uh a little disappointed i gotta work on it some more <laughs> all right well
Well, I think it works good. Uh, lifted, that was probably close to having 500 pounds on it and it actually stopped it and it didn't break anything. So I'm not gonna crank this pressure uh, relief up any higher. I'm just gonna leave it right where it's at because I don't want it being so powerful that it rips the front of the uh, tractor off. So I like it. Hopefully this last, uh, if it does, I'll give an update on it. Chain's working great. I am glad I got rid of that belt. I am happy with it. All right, I'll try to give you guys an update later on down the road. Thanks for watching. See ya.